It is uh, impressive how little money there is in theater. And we talk about it a lot, like how do we make this work and how do we provide ourselves with some stability, but in this industry that really doesn't exist. I heard that there was a woman in town in Toronto who had similar training to me, which is devised physical theater. And so I got a $1,000 grant. So I said, you want to make 500 bucks in five days and just get in a room and play around with this idea. I have a very general idea about female relationships. And three years later, we had a play. Because we were new to Toronto, it felt almost like we were at a stage similar to being fresh out of um, th a theater degree or college or whatever, you know, like we felt so new. So we had to start over and we had to work for free and we had to ask our friends to work for free. And we didn't have much to show <laughs> because it's devised work. Devising is a way of working, which is we don't start with a script some dead white guy wrote hundred years ago. We start in a room with an idea and we make the show from scratch. So it's a, it's a much longer process. A lot of Canadian companies have three weeks to stage the play and then it's on stage. When you're devising, it's, that's impossible. Our work just takes three years to make a show. Over those three years, we applied to probably three to six grants a year <laughs> and didn't get any. Except for the very last minute of the third year, we got an $8,000 grant from the Toronto Arts Council. So that $8,000 we spent to produce the show. So that went to the salary of the sound designer, which was really w underpaid. Our choreographer flew in from Israel. We paid for her flight, but she worked for free. It went to the purchase of a tub. We believe in the set design choice. Which we also bought off of Kijiji used. And we spent it on two bathing suits <laughs> and some flyers maybe. Yeah, printing. Our photographer, we our paid photographer, our photographer like nothing, $200. dollars So $8,000, normally a show, you know, is a lot, a lot more than that. Hundreds of thousands of dollars normally. The only reason we could do that is because we got accepted into this platform in Toronto run by a theater called Why Not. They came up with this concept called the Riser Project, which gives fledgling losers a chance. <laughs> We couldn't have done it. We had eight grand. Yeah. And they pay for the cost of the theater and a cost of a lighting designer and built-in PR. PR and marketing. So they rolled the dice on us and it was a smash hit. And they became our touring producers and they we've been, you know, aligned ever since. I have to get dressed. I have to leave the house. Four, I have to pick the flowers. I gotta write the eulogy. Three, I gotta pick a casket to bury mom in. Jump. Logistics. The next show we're making is called Universal Child Care. It's funny we're filming this program today because we just uh, got denied a grant. We're doing this differently now, so we've we've uh, created a script and and the music. But because I'm four months pregnant, we want to shove in two of those devising sessions before baby pops. We wouldn't normally do that, but it means you can't wait for the granting cycle. So we were counting on this other little bit of money. We are already under, but we were like, if we just get this 10 grand, then we can make it work. But we didn't get the 10 grand. So now we're about 20 grand in the hole, but we still really want to do it. We don't know what we're going to do we have no at this model. moment. <laughs> we don't know if we're going to do it or not. Because we stopped touring so I could make a baby, <laughs> there's no other income coming in. 
because of the nature of the show. Other shows, you know, you can do it. You just wear a different thing or whatever. The show's so physical, it ends with like 29 slam dance. And um, that feels unfair to me, even though it's like biology. Who do I, who do I scream at about this? <laughs> I would say also the cost of childcare will increase our budget after she has a baby. Judging by the theater companies working around that we know of, there are very few who even consider childcare. There is very little money in theater in general. We have no buffer. Like even though we've been touring for four years, as I said, we only made a profit at the very end. If we had been doing a thing for four years, we should likely have a big Mm -hmm. buffer but we don't we really don't we have nothing <laughs> so it's no. a really really precarious industry it's true what they say you've got to really want it you've got to want this so bad if you want to make theater because it's not pretty and and just how expensive this it's a two-woman show with one prop and so people think like yeah just put it on you know like just come do it and, but if you want to pay everybody fairly, it's not as cheap as people think.